Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you the new Kat Von D Interstellar palette. I'm so excited to get this. Um, I did get this earlier because it was uh, available to VIB and Rouge first, um, but it is available now for everybody. Um, I want to say this was the same price as the other ones. I think it's $49, but again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I will list it here below. I need to get better about making notes and then writing down the prices. So I know somebody might um, ask, so I'm going to talk about my nails really fast. Um, let's do this hand, sorry. So I put them on in um, red and green. But then on the top of the reds, I took a sparkly red and then just kind of made like a tips kind of thing. And then on the green, I did the green and then made the green um, a sparkly tip as well with like a clear sparkle. So just in case you're wondering, I'm getting festive. Ah, Christmas is coming. Okay, Interstellar palette, Kat Von D. So excited about this one. I did not get the chrysalis and the... Um, Morph? Was it Morph? Something like that. The orangier palette. Um, at the time, I just couldn't get it, and now I wanted to get this one. It looks really cool to me. Um, I definitely really love the packaging. It has these nice, like, um, balls that look like they're 3D, but they're not. They're completely flat, and it just says Interstellar across the front of it. And let's see if I can get it open. Okay, so it's kind of nice. It does have the names on the back. It's kind of like a silver holographic. Same front with the interstellar and the circles that look like they're 3D almost. And then um, nice thin profile. Hers always seem to have um, stuff on the binding. And I kind of like it because you can stack it kind of like a book. If you're running out of space or something, you could definitely stack it and do it that way. So... I haven't touched this, this is the first time. So open it up. There's a mirror, nice big mirror there. Ooh, really big mirror. And here is the palette. Really, really pretty shadows. Um, it definitely looks like there's a lot more uh, cooler tones in this palette. I know the chrysalis one was a lot of purples. Um, the Morph one was more like, uh, I think it's Morph, Ugh, I can't remember the name of it right now, I'm so sorry. Um, but I know it was more of like the neutral tones, the browns and stuff like that. And this one definitely looks very cool tone to me. So we're going to go through it together and I'm going to make swatches for you guys. So I'm going to start with the three big ones. This one is Lichen, this is Vast, and this is Gavitron. So we will do these. These are very, very big. So you, um, they're not, okay, the first two, the light violet and the brown are not matte. They have a very, 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 very small sheen to them. Um, but the off-white vanilla one is matte. So here are those three colors for you. And I will go ahead and swatch them. So these are the three, sorry, those are terrible swatches. Um, these are the three big ones on there. Look at that, like, really light violet. That is so pretty. I really like that. This would be a really good brow bone color. This could be a great transition color if you want to do, like, a brown eye. Okay, those are good. So far, so good. Okay, now, um, these are kind of, like, to be quadrants kind of thing so this goes with this this goes with this um honestly I would do it however you want I mean I, when they place things like this I understand the premise but I don't know these these three are just so big so I mean you've got to kind of do something with it you could definitely do this as a transition shade too um for this purple so let's go ahead and swatch just left to right this is going to be killing moon Moonshine and 3 a.m. Okay, so first finger, Killing Moon, Moonshine, and 3 a.m. Let's go ahead and swatch these for you. Better swatches this time. So I rubbed a little hard, but they're a little, um, a little chalky, but they feel very, very nice. Um, I wouldn't compare them to say uh, 
a Lorac Pro Mega or anything, but I think these are really, really beautiful. I really like this purple, and that gray is so pretty. It's like a steel gray and a really nice, like, mauve brown. Very, very pretty. Okay, so that is the first three. And then the next three are going to be under the brown, so this area right here. And it's going to be so vast astrological dark star Orion. Whew, that's a lot. Okay, so this this is kind of like a pinky purple, like a really light lilac. And then this first one is definitely a brighter, um, deeper lilac color. So that is definitely a much more lilac. Second is very pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like a um, it's like a purple with a gray toned with like this deep dark bluish gray in it. Oh, so pretty. This is the one I'm talking about. Look how pretty that is. It's like very nice. Like it has a purple in there. You can't really tell, but it's like very bluish gray with purple. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I'm going to love this. I really, really can't wait to do a smoky eye with that. That is going to be a really nice shade for a smoky eye. And this is a very nice brown, and this is actually a matte brown. There is no, um, yeah, no sheen or shimmer. The other two have sheen to them, but this is just a matte brown. Very, very nice. So far, so good. Very pigmented. Um, definitely not lacking in pigmentation at all. So this is only my second Kat Von D palette, by the way. Um, I have the um, big one, the Star Studded palette. Um, but so far, I'm really impressed with it. I know the Star Studded palette had a lot of mixed reviews, but I really like it. I've used it a couple times, and I'm a big fan of it. So, um, so far, so good with this one, too. So we're going to do these three. The big one is Gravitron. This is... Lunacy, Dios, and Nightcrawler, and Gravitron. I like the Gravitron. Kind of reminds me of like, you know, um, Transformers. Gravitron. Is that one of their names, maybe? <laughs> no, it's Megatron. There it is, Megatron. Okay, this black is a matte black. And I think I forgot to say with the first um, brown, this is a matte brown too. So the mattes in here are this light brown, this more chocolate brown and the black, and then this off-white, like, cream color. Ooh, that actually looks like a really nice black. Let's see how it swatches. Ooh, I love that blue. That's so pretty. It's like a very nice, like, icy blue. And then this um, is kind of like a nice, like, like a light taupe color. Actually, taupe is perfect, yeah. Taupe, ice, and black. Ooh, okay. So we shall see how this black works. Da, da, da. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Ah! Okay, so seriously, the only black eyeshadow that I've ever been able to find that is actually truly black. And I mean, when you pay for black, you want a black eyeshadow. You don't want gray. You don't want slightly black. You want black. The only one has been Makeup Geek Corrupt. And look at this. This is actually a very, very nice black. Oh, I'm so happy. That taupe is beautiful. That silver blue is gorgeous. And look at that black. Okay, I have to grab something to swatch the black next to. So it's still not as good as Makeup Geek Corrupt, but it's definitely better than others. So I want to swatch for you Makeup Geek Corrupt because I know a lot of people do not understand what I'm saying because somebody may not have it. If you have not ordered Makeup Geek, you are missing out. If you are not gonna order anything else from Makeup Geek, order Corrupt. This is why. So, let me focus. This is Makeup Geek Corrupt. This is the Kat Von D one. Do you see the difference? So, it is black. It's definitely much better than a lot of the other palettes that have been released lately. But again, nothing can compare to Corrupt. So, I'm gonna put Corrupt next door to the other one. It's definitely much better than a lot of other palettes, but you can see what I'm talking about. This is Makeup Geek Corrupt. This is the Kat Von D one. 
And it's nothing against Kat Von D. I just don't know what it is. Marlena and the Makeup Geek team, they know how to get it done. I don't know what it is. But this black is like, it's it. There is nothing else blacker. If you found anything that you think is like a black, like I mean true black, if you want that really a smoky eye, you don't want gray, you want black. Let me know and I would love to try it because so many palettes I have, I have so many colors, I have so many blacks and nothing, nothing has compared to Corrupt. But I will hand it to you Kat Von D, you definitely got really close. It is very nice black. I definitely feel good about that black because a lot of the blacks, um, when you try them on, like I said, it's just, they're kind of gray, they're kind of smoky, you know, charcoal maybe, but not black. If you're going to call it black, it should be black. So Makeup Geek, or I'm sorry, so Kat Von D did a really great job on this palette. <sighs> I really like this palette. I think this is a really nice palette. Some of these colors just stand out so nicely. This taupe is gorgeous. This ice blue is like, reminds me of like a frozen kind of thing. These two purples I think would make such a great eye look and I am loving these two gray colors. This one has like a little tone of purple. You can't really see it, but it's in there. And then the browns are definitely great transition colors or to do a natural eye. Um, if you were to take this with you to do a natural eye, you definitely could pull it off. You could use this as your brow bone. Um, you could use this as your eyelid color and then one of the matte browns as your transition color. And then, um, you know, if you want a pop of color or something, you could put like the l baby lilac in there or this little pink lilac would look good like in the corner of your eye. But I think she did a great job. I think this is definitely a cool tone palette. Um, usually I look better um, in warms. I think. I think it kind of goes either way, honestly. I think if you like it, wear it. I don't, <laughs> what does it matter if it matches your skin tone exactly? But anyways, I think that this is a great palette. I think she did a great job and I'm excited to do an eye look and play with this. So I will let you guys know when I get the eye look done. But I think this is a great palette. Um, like I said, I don't have the other ones. So I don't have anything to compare it to. But I love my star studded palette. I think it's great. And I think these are just as good quality. They're soft. They're not like butter soft, but they are definitely soft. Um, I like it. I think it's nice. It's simple and it's cute. And I mean, the packaging is really nice. It's cardboard, but it's like, it's a heavy cardboard. It's not like a Stila palette where it sounds hollow. Like this sounds like a good palette. Like if I squish it, it's not squishing in. It has that nice gloss to it so it's easy to clean off and wipe off. I really, really think this is a really nice palette and I think she did a great job on this. And I really like it. Really, really nice. And you know, even from wiping them off right away, my hand's still kind of tinted. So I think they're gonna be colors that are gonna stick around and kind of hang out and make their stance. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed my quick little first impressions and swatches of the Kat Von D palette. I will do an eye look soon with it. I will let you know probably next week I will do an eye look for you and I hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed so you're sure not to miss a minute of my videos and I will see you guys later. Bye guys!